Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on algebraic proof or algebraic uh, factorization there. Now, this is the last question in an IGCSE higher tier paper and I, and I think, therefore, it is possible for an AS level mathematics or an additional, additional mathematics IGCSE paper. Anyway, it's certainly suitable for IGCSE and for 10th grade algebra. Okay, now this is what we got. We're asked to show that 2a minus 1 all squared minus 2b minus 1 all squared is equal to uh, 4 into a minus b into a plus b minus 1 there. Now, what I've done, I've I tried doing it, I tried doing this way first, 2a minus 1 all squared minus 2b minus 1 all squared to expand that. And uh, it got very complicated. So I said to do it this way. Okay. Um, see what you get. You can do it both ways if you want to. But I'm doing this way first. So if I now uh, start from the left hand side first and, and then expand this here, putting the 4 outside the bracket. Now, again, this is my preferred method. I prefer to do it in columns because if I do this way, I don't miss anything out. Okay. So that's A minus B there, which is this one there. And then a and a plus and then plus b and then minus one there. And then when I multiply out, I get all these here. Nothing is missed out. So I end up with this here. Now the a b's cancel out. Now I'm going to do something silly here. I'm going to add plus zero. Now by adding plus zero there, I've made no difference at all to this expression there. Okay? And so now I've got that. Now, I can also write plus 0 as minus 1 plus 1 because I can see all the 1s there. I mean, that's the hint there. you got 1 there, minus 1 there, minus 1 there, and 1 there. So if I do minus 1 plus 1 there. Now, if I take my plus 1 across to the A's and minus 1, leave minus 1 with the B's, so I end up with this here. 4A squared minus 4A plus 1 minus 4B squared plus 4B minus 1 there. So I've made the difference at all. That's there, that's there, and minus 1 is there, and the plus 1 is there. 4a squared there, and 4a there. Right, now, if I then put brackets there, I end up with 4a squared minus 4a plus 1 minus brackets in there. By putting brackets in there, actually, actually that would then change the sign there. So, plus 4b becomes minus 4b, and minus 1 becomes plus 1, because if you expand the bracket, you end up with this here. Now, similar, I got another bracket on the this one here. So, I got this one here. So, okay, so I got two expressions, so to speak, there. And when I factorize this, and then factorize that one, I end up with this and that. That's what we got there. So, that's the proof. And I hope all that made some sense. Uh, please, please subscribe, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.